raising private money is all about your network. It's all about who you know and the relationship that you have with those individuals. So in order to raise a significant amount of private uh, private money, private capital, equity capital, you really, you have to know people, right? It's a contact sport. So you got to get out there. You have to have your elevator pitch ready when somebody asks you what it is you do. You help investors um, invest in uh, commercial real estate assets, and they are secured and insured. Uh, institutional quality assets, if that's what you do. You help people invest in businesses, if that's what they, if that's what you do. Uh, if you're doing business startups or um, business acquisitions, you can syndicate those. A lot of people don't realize that. So really the key to raising private capital for real estate syndications and business syndications is relationships. It's all about relationships. You got to know people. You got to get comfortable with people. You got to get people to get comfortable with you and trust you. So that means you need to be genuine. You need to be honest and open. Show them what you're doing. Tell them about what you're doing. But don't sell people. Don't try to convince somebody that they need to take all their money and invest it with you or invest it in a certain type of um, vehicle that you're working on or, or project. Um, everybody, you know, most people like to diversify. They like to spread their investment risk out a little bit. So, you know, don't go into it with a sales pitch. You know, if you're at a function, you're at a gathering and you're just talking and you're meeting new people, you know, don't try to go around the room and meet everybody. Try to try to meet one or two people and develop a good rapport with those one or two individuals. And when they ask you what you do, just tell them, you know, that you help people invest in real estate assets that are secured and insured, or you help people invest in companies or help, you know, people invest in startups, whatever it is that you do, just kind of mention it briefly and then let them ask you questions. Don't go on and on about it and talk about what a great deal it is, a great investment it is, you know, things like that. Just kind of, you know, lay it out there. This is what I do. We invest in apartment buildings and I help passive investors earn uh, returns that are secured and insured, you know, with the real estate. And, um, you know, leave it at that and let them ask you questions. They're going to, if they're interested, they're going to ask you questions and you know who will. And, and then you can always set a follow-up meeting, but don't spend the rest of the evening, you know, talking about it unless, you know, the people are really interested and they really want to know and they're they're pressing you for information. Then, you know, feel free to, to go on and talk about it. But you got to build those relationships. You got to develop that network. And, and one of them, uh, one of the ways is through uh, meetups and industry conferences, things like that. You got to get out there, get active, meet people. Uh, you can invite people over for uh, dinner or for cookouts or for gatherings. You can do a happy hour. Uh, there's any number of ways to get together, or you could just do one-on-one -on -one meetings. You know, if you if you're a one-on-one -on -one person and that's how you operate, then you can invite people out for coffee or lunch and just kind of, you know, sit down and chat a little bit and talk about what you, you know, what more about them. You want to talk about them, learn about them, what they're doing, and they're going to eventually ask what you do. And then again, you just have that, have that ready, um, you know, for, for them, you know, what you're going to say to them about what you do, uh, whether you're investing in commercial real estate or you're, you're doing business startups, whatever it is, just have that ready. But raising private capital is all about networking, relationships, and knowing your stuff. So that's really the third thing. You really, and really it's the first thing, you really have to know what you're doing too. So before you go out there and start networking with people to try to raise capital, you need to make sure you're educated and that you thoroughly understand and intimately understand the business that you're um, raising the capital for people to invest in. So if it's apartment syndications, and even if you're just focusing on raising capital for somebody else's deal, you still need to have a great understanding and an intimate knowledge of apartment investing, the numbers, the metrics, the markets, the locations, you know, all of the things that are going into that deal and how it works, because they're going to ask questions, they're going to expect you to know, they're going to expect you to be an expert. If it's a business that you're trying to get somebody to invest in, then, you know, you need to make sure that you thoroughly understand that business, you have all the numbers of the business, and that you're not guessing and not making assumptions, because people are going to want to, they're going to want to know that you know what you're doing and that their money and their investment is safe. Really, the main thing most people are concerned about is preservation of capital. Their first and primary concern is, how do I get my money back and when? They want to make sure that they're going to get their money back. And then if they make money on top of it, then that's great. But most investors, their primary concern is preservation of capital. So you've got to make them comfortable that you know what you're doing, that you have experience, that you're the expert. And the other way to do that is to create a thought leader platform, whether it's writing a book uh, or recording videos like this one, doing a podcast, speaking at events, you know, things like that. Positioning yourself as an expert um, is another way to uh, create relationships and create and build a network where you are positioned as the authority and uh, people will come to you uh, for your investment advice and, uh, and want to invest in your deals. And um, 
And lastly, uh, when it comes to real estate syndication and raising private capital, you want to make sure that if you're focused on that and you're just solely focused on raising uh, capital for other deals, that you find good operators, good partners, you know, to partner with that will keep the investors informed and give you the information to pass along to your investors if you're handling that side of it. Uh, or if you plan to connect them directly with the deal sponsors, you want to make sure that they have a good system in place for keeping the investors informed, keeping them up to date, that kind of thing. The, you know, somebody is in charge of those investor relations and that uh, there's a really good system in place for that. If they're not going to do that for your investors and they expect you to do it, then you want to make sure before you do anything uh, that you have a good um, investor relations system in place so that people can track their investments, get information and have regular access to you. Uh, for updates. Communication is key. Uh, relationships are key. So um, raising private capital, raising money for real estate syndications or business syndications or any other type of syndication. Um, number one, you got to know your stuff, know your business, whatever it is you're, you're asking people to invest in, be the expert. Uh, number two, build relationships. Uh, it's all about relationships. It's all about network. Uh, this is a people business. It's a contact sport. And number three, position yourself as the expert, the authority through uh, some sort of a thought leader platform or uh, expert platform, um, whether it's video, written, uh, blogs, uh, you know, podcasts, videos like this, whatever it is, Facebook. Um, so that is really in a nutshell uh, how you raise private money. It's not difficult. Uh, it's just a matter of getting to know people and being relaxed and knowing your stuff and just telling people what you do and not selling. It's telling, not selling. So that's really the key to uh, uh, to raising private capital and real estate and business uh, syndication if you're raising money for businesses. Um, those are the most effective ways. That's how you do it. That's how I've been able to raise um, money for the deals that I do and I have done in the past and companies that I bought and things like that and uh, the people that I know that are that are in the world and that's what they do. It's uh, it's really simple. It's not complicated. You just got to get out there, be yourself, have fun, but make sure you know your stuff. Make sure you're educated, that you understand the business that you're asking people to invest in. That's that's you know the very least that they're going to expect from you is to know exactly what you're doing and exactly where their money's going, and how they're going to get it back and win. So uh, that is raising private capital in a nutshell. And I will see you on the next video.